Hi, I'm Ryan with Learberg, and today we're looking at muzzles. We're going to give you an in-depth view on all the muzzles we carry and help you select out which muzzle might be best for you and your dog. First, we're going to take a look at our Baskerville muzzles. These are a less expensive, but a good quality muzzle. They come in uh, six different sizes from one till six. They do only have one kind of standard shape, so they don't have the customization. So if you have a short muzzled dog, um, this might not be the perfect option for you, but they are a good kind of all around. They are wide, so um, a lot of different breeds of dogs can fit in them. Uh, this is the size four, kind of the medium size. They all come with a strap that straps the top of the muzzle and goes up the muzzle and through be between, the, between the eyes of your dog. Um, that is removable, so if you don't want that there, you can easily take that out and just turn this into a collar that goes around the back of the dog's neck. Uh, the nice thing about these two is they have a lot of airflow. Um, they're open. They have a spot for your dog's nose so they can breathe nicely. You can feed through them easily. If you really wanted and you were to buy a couple of these to turn one into a, like a truly a conditioning muzzle, it's pretty easy to cut off the fronts of these. So if you wanted to really condition your dogs to get something used to round their muzzle, um, you can easily cut these off, cut this front part off where they fully can, their muzzle can fully come through and you can feed easily. Um, obviously, if you did that, you wouldn't want to use that for any practical purposes. Moving on to our Jafco muzzles. These Jafco muzzles come in, again, six different sizes. These go from zero to five, the zero being the smalls, the fives being the large ones. Um, we do carry two different, basically, shapes of these muzzles. We have a standard shape, and we also have a Rottweiler Jafco muzzle, which are a little bit wider um, for dogs with a little bit wider muzzles. There are three different colors. The white, which you see here. Uh, this is a white muzzle. We have a clear muzzle as well as a black muzzle. The, both the white and the black are gonna be a little stiffer. They're made of a um, stiffer plastic. Uh, they're slightly less expensive than the, the clear ones. The clear ones are nicer because they're a little softer uh, and they have a little more give to them, but they are a little more expensive. Not much though. Um, we also offer these muzzles in a conditioning option. So if you look at two of the muzzles. One has a nice large hole in, this, in the center in front, which you're able to pass treats through the, uh, to condition your dog to the muzzle. These other muzzles with the smaller holes, you can't pass treats through them. Uh, if you were to get a conditioning muzzle that can, depending on what purpose you're using the muzzle for, the conditioning muzzle could be the, just as good as a practical as the as the other muzzle with the smaller holes the problem is if your dog is eating rocks or eating things and you're trying to prevent that they'll still be able to eat through this hole so uh, you could use this for some purposes but uh, if you really want to be safe you can get the smaller hold one which is not for conditioning so if it's conditioning non-conditioning um, they also come in a version with str three straps so most of, most of them come with or a lot of them come with two straps, so the dog's head goes in and the strap just straps in around behind the dog's neck under the ears. If you wanted a little more added security, you can get the version with three straps. The third one just going up the dog's muzzle between the eyes and connecting back to where the collar goes around behind the neck. So next we're gonna look at the cloth muzzles. The cloth muzzles we carry are exclusively for veterinary care, uh, grooming, those types of things where your dog is not active. These types of muzzles will close the mouth of your dog and not allow them to pant or open their mouth at all. So they're great for when you're doing things like trimming nails if you have a dog that um, doesn't particularly like that and you haven't conditioned them to trimming their nails. Um, if your dog doesn't like to be poked and prodded at the vet's office, I personally wouldn't necessarily need to vet, to muzzle all my dogs at the vet's office, but I still do out of precaution. So all of my dogs, have cloth muzzles that I condition them to and, I've, and I muzzle them for most of the veterinary care. You will notice these are both cloth, cloth muzzles, uh, a very different shape. This is particularly for uh, the short muzzled uh, pug type dogs. This is for a standard dog with a more like a regular style, like longer muzzle. Uh, we'd also have different options for shorter muzzles. So you have to look at the details specifically on what you're ordering, but these are a great option to have in your toolkit 
in the event that you need it. I would rather prepare my dogs to have and be used to the muzzle when I need it rather than going to the vet's office, my, my, the vet puts my dog in an uncomfortable position, now I have to muzzle my dog, now my dog is even more stressed, so going to the vet again is gonna cause more stress. So take the time, condition your dogs to it, and have it ready if you need it. Next, we're gonna look at our wire basket muzzles. The wire, wire basket muzzles are a great option because a lot of the dogs take to them a lot quicker than the closed muzzles. So there's a lot more airflow. Your dogs can easily drink out of these because the water comes right through. They are very sturdy. They're not gonna bend them easily. And they come with these pads on the top of the muzzle to protect your dogs, the, the bridge of their muzzle. As you can see, they come in a wide variety of sizes. This being the smallest one we carry, I believe. Uh, this is one of the larger ones we carry, and there's a, there's a bunch of sizes in between. Next, we'll move on to our leather muzzles. So we offer a few different types of leather muzzles. This particular leather muzzle is similar to the Jafco muzzles. However, it's made of leather. So it's, it also has the holes cut throughout the front. Not a ton of circulation, but enough to wear for um, a good amount of time. It has the extra security component of the third strap that goes above the dog's muzzle and through it between its eyes. Here we have our basket style police muzzle. This muzzle is very well made if you do any sort of protection sports where, or police work, military work, where you're gonna eventually proof your dog's protection with a muzzle away from equipment. So the dog has to show that it will still aggress towards somebody without equipment on. A lot of times people use a muzzle for that. It does have a plate in the front, so if you do any sort of agitation work where the dog actually has to ram into somebody, there's a, there's a metal plate there that keeps the structure and protects the dog a little more. Uh, lastly, we have our kind of basket style leather muzzle. This muzzle, muzzle, again, also has kind of the three strap option, which goes around the neck and then between the eyes. This is a soft muzzle, so shouldn't be used for any sort of protection work, um, but it is a good quality leather muzzle, similar to kind of the wet wire basket muzzles, a lot of airflow, uh, but again, uh, not for protection use, but more for general purpose use. Lastly, I'd like to show you this um, additional strap that goes with the Jafco muzzles. If, you, if your dog happens to have a really large head and a small muzzle, you can add on this extra strap to any of the muzzles to extend the length that goes around the head. So you'd clip it on wherever you want here, and it goes all the way around. So it makes it a lot longer. If you have any questions about individual muzzles, you can go check out their specific product pages. Additionally, check out our webpage, learberg.com muzzles.htm for more information on both sizing and conditioning.